Actually, to be perfectly honest, that's the reason why usually when I start a game, I usually say something about like whether or not I played it or not. Because if Finally, I haven't played it. To see the shadow. What do you gotta do around this place to get noticed? Oh right, the shadow. Actually, I really should split this recording first though. Um but yeah, like basically if I haven't played a game before and like I'm recording it. In that case, like, I'll speculate about everything. Not necessarily because I, you know, I'm trying to, like, say, like, what happens or trying to guess things or call things or anything, but just purely to kind of get my thoughts out there. Oh, right, we're being hunted. I was going to do this little challenge first. Um, you know what? I can just do this. gotta hide under the bridge but in games that like I have played like I might like tease little things or just give completely wrong spoilers or you know whatever it is but like I at least kind of show some restraints again like you know when I first went out into that area I did say something about like I wonder if I can see it which, again, if you knew what it was, the, the, the sacred site, then, yeah, you knew what I was talking about. But if not, then, well, probably just comes across as me being <laughs> kind of weird or whatever. <laughs> Which, you know what, I'm fine with. Anyway, what's the, the challenge? A good underground agent knows this city inside and out by sight. Let's see how you stack up. Get to this place in the time limit given, and you'll get a reward. Go! Alright, under a bridge. Well, you know what? There were a few bridges over here, so I can at least see if it was down here. It does not look like it was down here. Which means it was probably... Yeah, probably in the other only other one. Actually, I guess there's two. And you know what? Before it fails... <laughs> Perfect. Actually, I might need a vehicle to get that now that I think about it. So... Oh, no, no. Come back to me. No, 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 no. Actually, you're going the right way. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I, I think I went a little too far. But you know what? We should at least... No, get off. Oh, no. There it is. Oh. I was not expecting to be able to get that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because if it wasn't there, it was going to be, like, right under here. But just because of, like, the little bit of the rest of the city that we could see around it, I was assuming it was going to be, uh, I guess, the middle one. Actually, I did say I needed to actually split this recording. <laughs> Damn, 38%? Again, I, I knew this game was going to take longer than the first game. But I still feel like I'm going through this way faster than I thought I was going to. Alright, so it is time for some 4am Jack and Daxter. Let's do this. Oh, right, I already got to the place. <laughs> that actually weirded me out because the music took a moment kind of thought it was going to crash the shadows decided it's time to meet you why is that place in the old ruins so important to you there's a powerful energy force at the old house the metalheads are drawn to it no kidding we used to know the guy that lived there so you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble oh no not you welcome to our humble underground movement i am known as the shadow but you may call me samos and you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, Old Log in the Head, Grandpa Green. Don't you know who we are? <laughs> Sorry, kid, never seen you before. And I never forget a face, especially one that ugly. So it begins. How is this possible? <laughs> we came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah, you used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? 
Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, <laughs> I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old Samos. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck, and welcome to the fight. Imagine that. This guy who has basically just repeatedly told you how much he hates you, introduces you to, like, his boss, And again, these two dumbasses basically does have that whole exchange with him. That is one of the things I love about these characters. They're just so unapologetically themselves. Even when it's like the absolutely wrong decision to do. Anyway, I also need to do some audio tests. Wow, do we really only have that one? Okay, so I'm going to go do, I guess, the one mission. I need to do some audio tests. So instead of doing stuff of the actual game that may not end up being usable, I kind of thought it might be a little bit of a better idea. It's basically do something that doesn't really matter that much. Although, yeah, yeah. Again, again, this is one of my favorite things in games. Hell yeah. But it's something I love about like Metroid games and Halo is like once you get the system down it doesn't really matter where you are in those games you can kind of just blow through them without even thinking about it and it's something i and it's something that i kind of forgot was basically how this game goes once you just master like the basic combat system there's really nothing you have to worry about It's kind of part of the reason why, like, the 30 or so Mega Man games I went through. I guess after, like, you know, kind of getting used to some of the, like, sub-games or whatever, or I guess sub-series, it's kind of like you can just sort of take the very most basics. God, they make some amazing speed bumps, don't they? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I said something about that before. But yeah, it's like once you get the basics down, kind of just can stop thinking and just start, like, goofing around. Oh, right, except... Yeah. You know what? Okay, well, you know what? That didn't kill you. You know what we could do? Okay, you know what? I really just wasted that, didn't I? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I forgot this is where they really become a menace. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> that aim, though. Oh, I so badly want to spite them by stealing that. But you know what? It's fine. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's just be... 
just be a half decent citizen for like five seconds. And you know what? I did say only half decent. Oh my god, okay, that's not a card. You know what? I wasn't driving it. I would you No Flawless. Jack, you've got to prove your driving skills once again. One of our agents dropped off a package. I need it delivered to the hideout immediately. Oh you okay, okay. They did give me a vehicle. Okay, where are we going? God, maybe I should have actually warmed my voice up a bit more before this. Oh, God. See, the trap is having to go through the, what was it called? The bazaar? Because if one of those guys decides to just ram you, there's, like, nothing you can do about it. So... I think I'm taking the long way, which means we just got to go stay to the left, take the main road, follow the waterway until the under, uh, I guess, the city passage, and then take a right and hug the right wall up until the slums, and then basically just forward and then hug that other wall. All right, cool. Although what I'm actually amazed about is that the guards aren't trying to kill us yet. That I was actually expecting to have happen like immediately. Whoo! Uh, that did not happen. I actually meant to hit this. We're good to go. Ooh. Nothing. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Nothing, sus nothing suspicious. Oh God, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I have to go through the bazaar. Which means, actually, you know what, you know what? They're not angry at me. Which means this is a very, very different game. Although it does mean that I need to map out a different route. Okay, hug the right wall, and it's going to make us squiggly. Past the Baron's Gate, through the bazaar, and then basically just hug the left wall. Actually, hug the left wall like the moment we get into the bazaar. Bazaar, whatever it's called. All right, simple enough. Who? Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I can piss them off all I want after we get past the little market whatever thing but up until then i gotta play this very very safe actually it is something that i i still think i really kind of like about this game Sweeping for suspects. is a lot of these little side missions are Ooh, okay They're not, like, stupidly easy. But sometimes it's like the biggest challenge in the game is just kind of yourself. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought that was going to kill me. Ooh. Okay, okay, you know what? It's fine. We still got 20 seconds. There is no way I can fail this. Uh, except we are going to have to deal with the bumpy road of the slums, right? <gasps> okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. That's fine. Okay, you know what? I kind of have to haul ass then. Which means... Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Why are you guys like this? Which means instead of any sort of precision driving, we are basically just going to hold the gas the entire way. Which is usually not good for turning, but at the same time, it's fine. Might have to throw in just a little bit of momentum brakes, but it's fine. Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. That's the other thing, is I really can't take any damage, or this thing's gonna slow down, and earlier on, that might just be- No. No. Okay. Okay. You know what? <gasps> it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yo. 
that's on you, buddy. Okay. That is the other... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, okay. Nice work. The delivery was a success. I like your style, Jack. I like how the vehicle is still on fire, and there was like... No one came out and grabbed anything. It was just like, oh yeah, good job. Sometimes I wonder if Torn just kind of gives us like really, really annoying missions. Actually, I was going to say just because he didn't like us, but he's kind of already said that. Right. Oh! I always feel so bad when one of them agilely bounces off the bottom of the vehicle. I hate the smell of this part of the city. No, you. Oh, right, right, right. You know what? It's fine. Maybe I should have grabbed the hoverboard and then did this. This is Unit Alpha. We're in route. You didn't see anything. It's fine. The nice thing about the big vehicle, though, is I can kind of muscle my way through the others. Ah, get the hell out of my way. Okay. And you know, the really funny part is there are people who actually kind of drive this way. <laughs> That's the part that I'm looking at this being like, okay, does that mean like everyone else on the road is just like the main character or what? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Invisible barriers. I need to remember that a lot of those curved surfaces aren't actually not there. And to be honest, I'm really not sure if that's because of the upscaling or if that's just because of how the game actually was. Anyway, oh, okay. That's cool. Because you know what we get? The jet board. Wow, the jet board's ours. I call shotgun. God, that thing is so cool. And it just sits on his back. Actually, what? Yeah, there we go. Hell yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. The jet board is like the coolest little gadget in any game ever. Which, you know, there are a lot of really cool gadgets. But for something that serves like no combat purpose whatsoever, or at least, you know, in this game. I guess technically it does have some capabilities in the next game. Oh, I can still control the camera. Okay. Use your jet board. But yeah, for something that's kind of like just for goofing around and playing on. This thing is so cool. Although, I'm not gonna lie, playing this with like a really crazy frame rate is actually kind of cool. I'm not somebody who really cares that much about frame rate stuff, but I will say there are some differences that you notice. I mean, I'm only recording this at about um, 60. Oh, 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 too far. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. I could do a trick, couldn't I? I thought tricks gave you, like, a boost. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually did this by doing... Oh! 
Okay, I thought the boost was when we landed. It's like the moment we do the trick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's an orb. Oh, that's right. There's like a bunch of orbs out here, aren't there? God, I love the controls of this. <laughs> That's the other thing, is like... I, I was gonna say, like, with this game, but it's, it's really any game. And it kind of depends on the individual. Because I've met people who use control schemes that, like, I, I, I just cannot coexist with. Like, if I'm playing a game. But, like, at the same time... That's not a thing, okay. But at the same time, like, I know there are some control schemes that I use that to other people, like... Ah, damn it. Actually, wait, wasn't the thing over here? I think he was over here. Yeah, certain controls... Yeah, certain control schemes kind of click with certain people. And for me, this is one of those... One of those that kind of just clicks with me. Okay. I think I'm mainly just going to focus on, like... Oh, no. Wait, does that mean we have to restart? No! Okay, this is where it loops. Okay, you know what? Perfect. Not too bad. Oop, wrong button. Although, now that I think about it, I feel like this would probably be much better suited to the look around button. Oh, hey, it just crashed. Which, you know what? I'm just gonna go double check to make sure it's not something that's being loaded in. You know, like a corrupt file or something. Because if it is looking for something like that in the texture pack, it should crash reliably. Although it definitely would have happened by now. So, yeah. Although, now that I think about it, this is basically just like the Zoomer levels in Jack 1. I never thought about it that way until just now. But at the same time, it's kind of like it just gives us, like, basically a, basically a vehicle that we can just pull out, like, whenever the hell we want. Oh, no, I gotta go get the orbs again. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll just focus on these guys then. There we go. Actually, then again, now that I think about it, there are a lot of plants and stuff out here. Oh, damn it. And trying to load a lot of small, loose planes is kind of incredibly taxing on the system. So now that I think about it, my computer isn't like about to explode or anything, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, okay, you know, that's, that, it is a little warmer, but nowhere near as much as I thought it was going to be. Oh, what was that? Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm going to try disabling the texture pack real quick, which means we're going to get good old vanilla graphics. Although, to be fair, it's just textures, so it's not like the actual models are going to change or anything. Because to be fair, this version of Jack 2 in open goal I believe is still in beta. 
Like it's one of those things that's technically playable, but not necessarily perfect. All right, let's see if that fixes the problem. Because it kind of seems like it's this guy that's causing the problem. It's one of these two. But at the same time, it could also be a frame rate issue. I mean, there's like quite a few things this could actually be. Here's the thing. I can see the difference, but I feel like that's only because I know where to look. <laughs> Again, I, I don't really care too much about the texture upscaling and stuff like that. I actually care way more about, like, the reshade stuff and the lighting. Okay. I don't suppose I could just do a quick... You know what? I should probably actually save on a different file because if this gets corrupted or, like, if this becomes unsalvageable, <laughs> that would basically mean I just need to restart the entire game. I went the wrong way. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot go that way, my dude. Oh, I thought that was, I thought it was going to be that easy. Imagine this, you're running for your life and some kid and a, a little animal just start jet boarding behind you. <laughs> and the thing is, he doesn't even look like they're breaking a sweat. He's literally just doing flips all over the place for no other reason than he can. And you know Daxers is probably saying a bunch of stuff that would probably be more than at home on some, like, Call of Duty online lobbies from, you know, the early 2000s. <laughs> like, these guys are probably actually and genuinely running for their lives. And there we go. Which means now I should probably save. And I should go grab those orbs. Yeah, I kind of think what it might have been. Excellent work, boys. Come on back to the hideout. I have another task for you. Because I think what it might have been is probably a combination of having to load so many high, uh, resolutions, texture all at the same time. So it was probably running into some memory issues. And even though I know I have a computer that can run it, that doesn't necessarily mean that the program can handle it stably. I like how when you get on the jet board, Jack just like breaches the water. Although I'm not gonna lie, this place is... There's something about forests in games. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't know. It always just feels like there's something just kind of homely feeling about it. I'm not really even sure if, hey, hey, there we go. I'm not even sure if like that would be the right term or not, but I don't know. It just feels like there's something just calling to you. <laughs> Can't wait for all of the uh, cryptid specialists to tell me about some god awful thing that's probably gonna murder me in three days. But you know what? It's fine. I will just befriend it instead. <laughs> that is the power of, you know. You know how some people are just really good with animals? Yeah. Kind of always had that going for me. And I always thought it would be really funny if something like that applied to, uh, 
you know, like mythological creatures as well. Anyway, now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the texture pack. Actually, you know what? I can just go to the end of this recording. Here's the thing. I personally don't really care too much. It was mainly just because, like, I don't know, I could more than anything. But then again, the sooner I do it, you know what? I can just split this recording here. It, it took like 40 minutes. And I think it was because I didn't actually turn off my recording because <laughs> I was kind of being a little lazy. Oh my God, 40%? Wow. Okay, yeah, this game is going to go really quick then.